Well, it's time for update number 40 for the middle of December 2017. Happy holidays to all of you folks out there. And you're looking at one of the things that I did in this past month. This past month was filled with things that you see and things that you don't see. And what you're looking at now is one of the things that you see. As I mentioned um, on the last update, I was fooling around with some Arduinos. And indeed, um, my little experiment uh, worked here. Um, I've got two Arduinos. Let's go underneath here and look at this ball of wiring. There's an Arduino right there. There's an Arduino right there. And the only reason I'm using two of them is because the wiring gets, it gets a little bit too close to be plugging in a thousand things. What do the Arduinos do? Well, we started out looking at this animated sign, the cafe sign here, the Mill Creek Cafe sign. You can see it's got uh, three chase lights on it. There's another little piece of animation over here. If I zoom in on the record store, you can see the green and yellow blinking LEDs there. But besides that, the main reason I did the Arduinos is because I have random apartment lights turning on and off uh, very, very subtly. It's something that you really don't notice as you're looking at the layout, when, and maybe next time you look at it, um, one of the apartment lights will be off. But what I'm going to do, though, is I will um, put about 10 minutes of time of a video on um, in about oh, 15 20 seconds worth of this video so you can see it'll look like a bunch of blinking lights the, the apartment lights will blink on and off and on and off and all that kind of stuff but um, again the the effect you, you can see it's happening right now as I'm talking um, the effect is pretty darn subtle and I really really do like it so here is that uh, um, time exposure, if you will, video. Uh, if you're interested at all in Arduinos and what they are and how I did this animation, I just finished a two-part series for Model Railroader Video Plus on Arduinos. The first one deals with what they are and how they work. The second one deals specifically with this animation that I did in Mill Creek. Okay, more work that was done in the past month, and I did do a lot of work. I was surprised when I started to itemize it. I, I added another um, light under the fascia here in Birchwood because it was getting a little bit dim, and that helped things a lot. I'm in the process right now of finishing building this Fast Tracks turnout. And it's going to be replacing the curve turnout that you see right here. It's, this is kind of a goofy arrangement where the staging yard meets um, what would be the fifth staging yard track, but it's actually now a, a spur. Uh, I'm going to be replacing that with this Fast Tracks turnout, and that is turnout number 61 on this layout. Fast Tracks turnout number 61 on this layout. Where are the rest of them? Well, they're all over, but let's show you one of the more visible additions in this past month and it's right here above Wally and Wally's couch under the G it's my upper staging yard the upper staging yard was originally planned to be in this area here on the upper deck this is fascia on the upper deck it was going to be the upper staging yard there and I looked at this piece of real estate and I said my gosh this is a prime piece of real estate it's um, virtually eye level I think the fascia is about at your chin so it's a prime piece of real estate for having a nice town and some industries and that sort of stuff so I came up with this idea of adding and I'm gonna lift the camera up right now adding this staging yard so what you're looking at here is the upper loop goes into the other room, goes around and comes back out here. The staging yard begins before the loop. There are five tracks in it. Um, and it is a dead-ended staging yard, but that is not, I've been operating a lot lately just to test this whole idea out. It's not really a problem because what you wind up by doing is letting the train go in, go around the loop, come out, and just back into that staging yard so the engine's facing the right way. And then I'm using staging both here and lower staging as a fiddle yard, so 
it's easy enough to just swap out these cars and again you're looking at it just about at eye level which is about right where it is and I'm not even touching the couch yet so it's easy enough to reach in and swap cars around that was one of the more visible things that I added the uh, diode matrix so that you can switch the uh, you can hear all the tortoises going so it's easy enough to do one of the other things that I did this past month is something that you cannot see at all but you can actually hear it there's a third Arduino on the layout here in Eagle Creek let me turn on the uh, the master light here um, I, dis I saw a layout in Orlando on one of the layout tours at the NMRA National Convention that had some very subtle sounds on it. And as I was standing there looking at the layout, I suddenly said, did I just hear a bird? And that's exactly what's going on here. Um, if you can see the speaker and the Arduino, it's hard to see because of that light. I bought a, a shield, an add-on card for the Arduino that plays sound from a WAV file. Um, it's, I don't know if you just heard that little cheep, but that's birds. Listen. I don't know if you could hear that or not. Um, very, very subtle as you're standing. In fact, you can't hardly, you can hardly hear it from when you're back five or ten feet. Uh, but when you're standing right here next to um, uh, Eagle Lake, you can hear it. And it's a really neat effect that adds a lot of ambience, a lot of ambience to this area of the layout. So that was another thing I did. That's a lot of work for one month and I'm very pleased to say that I was able to uh, get it all accomplished. I tell you what, I am going to go in and replace that turnout now in the lower staging yard as soon as this video is over. So I wish you and yours the happiest of holiday seasons. Um, Happy New Year. I will see you in the middle of January 2018 and thanks as always for joining me.